my hair is a hot mess and I am too so if you don't subscribe like that's what you subscribe to is a hot fucking mess whose weave is always showing because I can't style my hair hey it's Faye welcome back to my channel so again I asked you guys on my Instagram what you would like to see and the majority of you voted for a haul video so I did you right and I spent a lot of the money that I don't have and I created a collective haul for you now keep in mind I did not buy all these products at once but I did buy them all in the month of July it is now August so it's some time but I also bought stuff today too but I'm gonna throw it in here so let's get into it so I have a few bags here and some packages so I'm just gonna start off with the packages It's just one is from Kylie Cosmetics recently she um, came back with her momager collection with Chris and y'all know your girl loves Chris I mean hi my phone case Chris Jenner anyways I just bought the eyeshadow palette and the face palette because I don't really wear lip stuff too much and I didn't want to like be too gluttonous you know cuz I'm trying to be a changed woman so we have the eyeshadow palette with the 10% shades face first things first it's a lot smaller than I thought it was like this fits in the palm of my hand I thought this was gonna be bigger but okay I mean it's cute like I've seen this before but let's swatch it shall we let's swatch like what this color Ooh, wait these feel like soft as heck the majority of them felt soft they feel soft but that shimmer though let's okay I've got to say I'm actually impressed I was not expecting this I thought that this was gonna be a pretty shitty palette I'm not gonna lie okay Kylie I'm sorry I underestimated you on that wow interesting so now the face palette I'm appreciative of the bubble wrap that's for sure and I love the packaging like I'm a huge packaging freak is any other collector like as obsessed with packaging as I am I love this you're doing amazing sweetie and it has like Kylie in the background too and this is what it looks like now I'm gonna swatch these with this hand again these feel very like velvety soft okay I could I could I could fuck with this Wow I'm like I feel bad for underestimating but like I'm not gonna lie her lipsticks are not my cup of tea but these like okay I have the bronze palette too and I'm not into it I have the holiday palette the first one not really into it but these like I, I could get down with this especially like wow these swatches Woo dang I actually lied so this is also like a package that I got but um I didn't keep the packaging I bought lily lashes lots of them I got can these are like a I love this style of lashes I got two of them and then I got another Miami and I got the goddess these ones these are lashes I've never tried before so I'm excited to give them a shot and then just the Miami's classic now everything else and this is kind of basic like I got a Tarte shape tape this is actually this isn't from Sephora either this is from Ulta I don't know when I went to Ulta but I guess I went to Ulta I got the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion which I haven't tried in years um so we're gonna see how this works I haven't tried it in years like I said I've been using like the Mac Painterly paint pot I need to get another one but you know I also picked up some lash glue this is just kind of like a necessity thing oh this is when I uh was this for my birthday yeah this is my happy birthday gift so I actually picked this up in June this glam glow hello sexy I had a tinted moisturizer and I could have totally used this this weekend whatever I also got some samples of the YSL all hour foundation um because I want to buy I love that foundation but I need it in the right color because I'm more tan now than I used to be so the stuff I bought today is the stuff I am most excited for it's my most recent trip to Sephora I technically should not have bought any of this I'm supposed to be on a freeze I'm supposed to be doing good but you know sometimes you just get drawn in and then you swatch something in Sephora and it's the most 
beautiful thing you've ever seen and you just have to buy it. And that's what happened today. So, I bought my first Pat McGrath palette today. I swatched this in store and I was with my sister and we like came up to like the impulse section and there were like eyeshadow palettes on the tower and I was like, oh, Jamie Genevieve just picked up that palette in her haul. I saw it and I went and I touched it and I looked and I was like, I literally barely lightly just touched it and there was, and then I went like this and I was like, what? I had to have it, so I bought it. And I just, I'm, oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm even gonna ever use it, but it was just like, I can't, I can't wait to show you. Wow. Okay, so it comes with the little sheet to tell you the names of the beautiful, buttery, creamy, beautiful shadows. This gold right here, is the gold I swatched in store and I'm seriously I'm ever so lightly going to just touch it for you so you can see what I saw do you see that do you see that I'm sorry but kidding me you're kidding me is like how I feel like it's so soft and it's so just look at that it's like butter it is like freaking butter so I don't regret this purchase it was expensive I just bought an eyeshadow palette I bought three in the last month I'm like oh. okay just wipe that off that was about 50 cents I just wiped off. Next, I've been needing a new um, primer because I ran out of my Farsala Unicorn Essence and I'm like, you know what girl, you need to stop just playing with what you know, you know, move on, let's, let's get to know some new things. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> so, I picked up the Becca First Lighting Light Filler Primer. It instantly wakes you up, or so it claims, so... You know, we'll try it out. I'm always tired anyways. But it's supposed to brighten, even your skin tone, hydrate, give you a natural finish, and it preps your skin for the makeup. And I've used this as a sample like before, and I loved it, but I never bought it, so we bought the full size. And, pardon my burp, the Becca Matte Primer got me through Lollapalooza last year, and I looked like a like matte goddess, so I trust Becca. So, moving on, what else I picked up today? I picked up the Tart Tartist... <laughs> Little fun fact, I used the Tardis palette in my, one of my first ever YouTube videos and I pronounced it Tardiest. I'm a baby girl. Anyways, I got the Tardis um, eyeliner. I was shaking the tripod with my foot because I'm, I'm great. Anyways, I got the Tardis eyeliner. I've been wanting to try this. It's the Amazonian Clay Paint Liner. Um, I've never tried it before and I mean I've been in the makeup industry for all my life. So... This actually, fun, as I was picking it off the shelf in Sephora, it had like, it still has dust like all over it. So that just goes to show you how forgotten this is. <laughs> Sorry, Tart. I picked up the Becca Chrissy Teigen Endless Summer Glow Glow Gloss in the shade Beach Bum. And I got this because my sister has it and I used it. And I'm obsessed with this color. It's so gorgeous. And I think it matches my nipples, so it's like the perfect nude. Next. I also finally, finally, finally picked up the Backstage Pros Air Flash by Dior. The match on this with my tan right now was just so perfect. It was hard to say no. And like I said, I've been in the beauty industry for years and I've never used it on myself. So I just had to get it and so I bought it and I'm very excited to try this. I was going to wear it today, but I decided not to because I want to do a video on this using half with the Beauty Blender, half with the Arista, Arista, is that what it is? No, the Artiste. Half with the Artiste brush, you know, I want to play around with this on camera. And to finish up this haul with another beauty classic in the beauty industry, I got the Marc Jacobs Universal Bronze Coconut Delight Bronzer. Like I said, this is another staple in the beauty community that I just couldn't bring myself to buy, but 
it's worth it. It's huge and, you know, oh, it smells good too. I didn't even notice that. I hope you guys appreciate me spending money that I don't have for you, but I'm excited for all these new products and to give you some new tutorials, some reviews, see what you should spend your money on, what I wasted my money on, and you know, that whole drill. So thank you guys so much for watching. Also, also, before I like do my outro, there is this new brush cleaner out on the market. I've seen it on Facebook. I've seen it on Instagram. It's called the Zoe. And I'm thinking I might buy it for a review to see if it actually works because, girl, I got brushes like you wouldn't believe and I hate cleaning them, bitches. So, <laughs> ah, so if, I, if you guys want me to buy that and see how it works so you don't have to spend your money, then leave a comment down below. Follow me on Instagram. I'm going to make that another poll coming soon. And, you know, live your best life and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.